Hey guys, this is Jake with my Bring Back, and uh, continuing our series with uh, the basics of WordPress today. And the thing we're going to go over today is we went over previously how to categorize your posts and subcategorize your posts to keep them organized and to allow people to find them once they uh, once they go to your website. So what we're going to do is over to the right, we don't have any way to actually filter or narrow down which category we want to look at on the blog rule. So as you can see right here, we've got two different categories going on. We've got top list and then we've got uncategorized for the two posts that we have so far. But over to the right, we have nothing that we can actually filter and look at each individual category down the list. So that's what we're going to add today is, is what's called a widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back end of WordPress. And so as you can see, we've got our posts and then, then they're categorized. And we're actually going to go down to appearance and then click widgets. And so there's two different parts to the widgets. We've got available widgets over to the left here. And then we've got uh, over to the right here, the widget areas that our theme allows. So as you can see, our theme allows a sidebar widget area, sidebar two widget area, and then a footer wid widget area. So as we look at our website here, we've got our main content area and we've got sidebar one or the primary sidebar. If we, if again we had the content here, a sidebar here, and another sidebar here, that's where the the secondary widget would come on. But today we've only got the primary sidebar widget, which you can see there's a calendar in the search in right now, and as you can see the calendar and search in here now. So all we're going to do is actually drag this category widgets that's available over to your sidebar widgets, and I'm going to make the top sidebar widget. Give it a title, and then it allows us to click a few options if we want to have it as a display as a drop down, show post count. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll we'll do a show hierarchy as well. Click save on that, and then we're going to go and refresh our page, and there you go. So you can see we've got our categories now, and within these categories we can see account and they are hierarchy based on the subcategory parent category type there. And so this makes it much easier for your your end users, your readers, to actually drill down and filter which which categories they want to look at. So for us, let's say we want to look at top list here. There you go, we can look at the top lists, the categories posted in top list there. So that's all we're going through today is actually uh, just how to add the categories widget. Um, the next series, the next series, will be continuing some of the WordPress basics to help you guys get your blog up and going and your website up and going. So.